Well, hello everyone, it's Carrie back again with you today. And today I have a Go Wild Shaker card to share with you. This time I'm featuring some safari animals with this really awesome A2 frame die. Now I had these safari animals left over from a coloring session I had a while back. So I thought it would be fun to put them together with this frame. Now I can see this frame used for a lot of different things, even floral cards and any kind of critter cards, but it's really great for a shaker card. So I've got some Heffy Doodle mixes. I've got Starry Night, Enchanted Moss, Cove Sea, and Hocus Pocus. And I wasn't sure which one I was going to use, but we'll see where this goes. <laughs> I'm starting out with some beautiful cardstock in a kind of dark blue, turquoise-ish color. And it's really pretty and I thought I would ink on some oxide inks, but I'm looking for a lighter shade of blue. So I went with the speckled egg. I'm also going to go in with some of the, the distress oxide and shabby shutters and tumbled glass. Now this is going to create a lighter look on that cardstock and I'm going to leave it dark around the edges, but just ink on some lighter color on the inside. And what that's going to do is when we cut out that A2 frame with the leaves and the jungly look, it's going to create a lighter look on the inside portion. So it's, it's a really fun look. So once I get that all inked up, I'm going to cut out this frame right here. So let me just take this off. And this is a beautiful frame. Like I said, I can see it used for so many things, but it's really great for a shaker card. So that's what I'm making today. So I, I went ahead and cut that out and I'm going to reserve that center piece because we can use that for our sentiment a little bit later. But look at how fun it is with the difference in colors on the leaves and the inside portion. I am going to just emphasize that a little bit more by inking around the outside with some distress ink in black soot. So that's going to create a darker edge around the outside. I'll go around the whole frame with that and then I'll bring a little bit lighter color of green on the inside. So I'm going to use that shabby shutters once again and inked up the inside portion. Just like this. And I'm just using a finger dauber to do this and that's going to be our our frame for this card. See how pretty that looks against that white background. So now that we have that done, I will add some acetate to the back of it. And I'm just using some double-sided adhesive for this, just some strong adhesive. You could use liquid adhesive if you want to, but this, this double-sided adhesive is very easy to use and it's not as slow drying, of course, like liquid adhesive would be. So I'm just going to remove the backers to those, add it to the acetate, and then I'll cut that acetate to fit just perfectly. So just putting that on, making sure that it is adhered very well. And I'm going to use uh, an old dryer sheet to get rid of any static cling so that this can shake really nicely. I'm just trimming around the edges and that's going to be our acetate front portion. Now it's ready to put some foam tape on. I'm using this foam tape from Heffy Doodle and I really like these strips because not only are they double thick so it's perfect for a shaker card, but they are also the perfect length to fit on this A2 frame. So these ones fit on the long sides just perfectly and then you just cut them down to fit on the shorter sides a little bit. So I'll go ahead and add that to all of the sides, just like this, wanting to make sure that they are meeting each other as close as possible so none of the shaker pieces escape. <laughs> I'm not gonna attach that just yet because we'll work on the rest of the card first before we add the shaker pieces and attach that down. So this inside piece I'm gonna use on the Go Wild sentiment that came with this A2 frame die. And this is going to be perfect, cut out in some safari colors. So I used a, a craft color cardstock, which kind of reminds me of khaki just a little bit. And then I cut the Go Wild out of the green. I am going to layer them up 
So I'm adding a layer of cardstock to that as well. So these are going to be pretty dimensional when we put it on the card. And I'll just add them just like that. And yes, I am also layering up the little eye that goes right over the, the, the dot that goes right over the eye. And I'll attach that just like this. Pretty easy. And I love the safari look right there. Now we're going to go ahead and put these pieces together and just kind of lay it out to make sure that it's the way that we like it. And, and it's time to choose some shaker pieces. I also have a, a, a sentiment that can be stamped on the inside using this set. There are so many things like, yay, you did it, or happy birthday, it's your day, and you're the best. And that's the little label stamps. So those are perfect for the inside, or you could put a sub sentiment on here if you want to. And I decided to go with the gold and blue set, which is called Starry Night. And I'm also going to add some of the green sparkle mix from the Enchanted Moss set. So what I'm doing here is pulling out some of the gems that come in these sparkle mixes. That's one of the reasons I love these mixes so much, because not only do you get sequins, but you also get gemstones and there are different sizes of each. So I love that. So I'm gonna go ahead and glue some to this background here so that they always stay up when we shake this shaker card. Now it's time to remove the backer from the foam, add it to the card base right there, and then we can add our little characters. To make it easier, I already used some liquid adhesive to attach that little toucan to his branch so he'll be one piece and I'm going to use some liquid adhesive to add that go wild sentiment and we'll put an acrylic block over the top until that dries. Now for some foam tape to add these little critters. I'm going to add this little guy right here. He's the cutest rhinoceros and then we'll add the toucan and the giraffe also using some foam adhesive so I'll just cut that into small pieces to fit perfectly on the back there. Remove the backer and add them as well. So this little guy's gonna look great in the upper right corner. And then there's the giraffe. And I did reserve some of the gems for the front of this card as well. So I'll go ahead and place those a little bit around and about and add those with some liquid adhesive. And that's really going to bring all of this together with the shaker mix on the front and inside as well. So I love that. So there we go. There's our shaker card. Look at this. The critters are so happy and all that sparkle mix just really makes it pop. Everyone loves a good shaker card, right? I love the different colors on that frame as well. It really does help to add a little extra ink to the inside and the outside. So I hope you enjoyed this video today. Thanks for watching. Give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, and I'll be back soon to share more cards. Bye-bye.